Welcome back to True Ball Python's YouTube channel. In this week's video, we're going to go over a couple of uh, proven breeder females we picked up from Brian Carter over at BC's Balls and just talk about what, what our plans are with the projects and basically get some ideas from you guys. Get your input and see what you guys think we should put these two new females to. Initially, we were going to invest this money into getting a visual sunset male and we decided we need to push one of our other projects forward and these animals became available and I couldn't pass them up. So uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look at these animals and we'll go from there, guys. Okay, guys, the first one we're gonna be looking at is um, Visual Clown. So it's Orange Dream, Phantom, and Pastel. But she's a beautiful female. She's right at 2,000 grams and she just laid in August I believe so yeah in August so she looks absolutely fantastic for you know just laying a couple months ago we're not going to start breeding her or put her in a breeding rotation until a until she's out of quarantine uh, but that'll be you know five six months after she's laid she laid but yep absolutely stunning colors just a, a beautiful visual clown, an orange dream clown. Like what else could you possibly ask for? So we're we're still thinking about what we're going to be pairing her to for the season. We don't know. Um, we have a few clown males that we could possibly put to her, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So this is the first one, uh, orange dream pastel phantom clown. Okay, so here's the second girl. Uh, unfortunately, she is going into shed, so her colors aren't nearly as bright as they're going to be. But she is also a visual clown. She's a pastel, leopard, phantom, and yellow belly. So with this girl, I do have a couple of clown males who also have yellow belly in them. So it's going to limit what we could put to her. Uh, unfortunately, my spot nose male... You know, be able to make some Batmans, but that one's also yellow belly. So, may not work with her, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out what it is we're going to do with both of these animals. Uh, once again, she laid in August as well. And so, we won't be breeding her until probably about January is what I'm thinking. Uh, both of these girls, will put them through quarantine uh, several months. Let them shed out, let them get to eating well, and then make sure they're healthy. And then from there, we'll add them into the collection. But this girl is absolutely stunning. Just, just, I'm super excited about her. Uh, you know, I'm just love her colors and just everything about her. So let me know, guys, in the comments below what you think about the two females. And... Uh, what mail would you put to them? What goes well with Phantom? That's my question. Comment down below. Wow, so that's awesome. We were able to get two breeder multi-gene clown females and I'm just really excited about the potential with these females. Uh, we, we don't quite know who we're going to put to him. We, we have a few options. We have our visual male clown. Uh, he's a banana pastel. Inchy now looks like he's fire as well. A visual clown. And then we also have uh, one of our head clowns that we picked up last year from Garrett DeMeyer. Uh, he's a black pastel, banana, uh, calico, yellow belly. And... And then we have a couple other clowns and, and males uh, that we could put to them. But we're just really excited to be able to just sit down and see what it is we want to put to which clown. And then we also have uh, other clowns that we're raising up as well in the collection. I'm sorry, breeders that we have, visual clowns. And just really excited because these, like we, we don't have any Phantom in, in our collection. We don't have Orange Dream in the clown. Uh, we have Orange Dream in our collection, but not an actual clown uh, project and 
Yellow Belly also. And so like just some really good genes to have into the clown we're getting uh, with these two females. And, and we were able to get them for a great deal. So I'm, I'm super excited about the future of just breeding these animals and trying to figure out what we're going to have because whatever it is, it's going to be gene packed and I'm not going to be able to identify it, but that's part of the fun. And so I really appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys for watching the video. Uh, please remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys again next week.